Behind the scenes, behind the lines, inside the stories others won't tell. The Morning Insiders. We've seen the impact the coronavirus outbreak has on education, but what will placement exams look like? The AP exam will go on from home, and Morning Insider Tim McNicholas learned some kids are questioning that new plan. Social distance in crowded classrooms don't mesh. That's why this year, students have the option to take the AP test from home, online. Very nervous. Sydney Blake is a senior at Crystal Lake South. I'm worried about slow internet connection, um, just possible things going wrong. The college board says if you don't have the right tech tools for the test, you should contact them by April 24th and they might be able to help. Without teachers and classmates around, Blake is also worried about fairness. You're at home. You don't have someone monitoring what you're doing and people might take advantage of that. She's concerned someone else could text a friend for answers or find part of their answer online when she's worked hard to memorize the material. The college board says they'll be on the lookout for plagiarism and any students caught cheating will have their scores canceled and their high schools and colleges will be notified. The test for each course will be taken at the same date and time across the world. The tests usually take a couple hours, but this year they'll be 45 minutes each and no multiple choice, only free response or essay questions. I'm kind of worried. Nutrier senior Ella Ritarek says she better know her stuff because with no multiple choice, there's no lucky guesses. It is what it is and I don't, it would, I'm not sure how they would do it differently. Tim McNicholas, CBS 2 News. The tests for all subjects will be between May 11th and 22nd with makeup tests in early June. If your school is back open by then, by that test day, you may be able to take it there and good luck.